Hey guys, uh, Tony here, and I wanted to kind of give you a little explanation on what some of this stuff means that's on the LiPo, uh, LiPo or lithium polymer batteries. As you can see, I've got four different batteries sitting here. There's only two different voltages, and there is only two different C ratings. Uh, this one here is going to be a two, uh, 2S15C 1000 milliamp pack. This is a 3S 20C 1000 milliamp pack. Same runtime, different voltages. This is going to be an 1800 milliamp 20C uh, 3 cell, 3S. And then this one is a 2200 milliamp uh, 3 cell or 3S uh, 15C. Now, a lot of you guys are wondering, you know, what does C rating mean? What does MAH mean that's behind all these little numbers? Um, how do I know, you know, what better to run and all that? Well, as far as what better to run, I can't really give you any, any ideas on that. But what I can do is explain all that other stuff. Let's start out with this small battery here. This right here is the battery that I was actually running in my Honey Bee. Uh, the battery is kind of old and it kind of shows a little bit of wear. But this right here is a 1000 milliamp battery, which means uh, the milliamp is milliamps per hour. But the uh, MAH or the milliamp is going to be your runtime, how much capacity this battery has. You know, obviously, uh, this battery here versus this battery here sizes a huge difference. And if you want to go three cell to three cell, these two are, uh, this one's bigger than this one. This is only a thousand milliamp, this one's 1800 milliamp. Now, the way this C rating works, you want to go for the highest C rating that you can go. Uh, but, you know, 25, 30C, maybe 35C is probably as high as you go. These two here are 20C, and I haven't had any problem with it. Basically, the way you figure this out is you take 15, which is your C rating, and multiply it by 1,000. Now, that's going to give you a number of 15,000. Now, 15,000 is going to equate into 15 amps. Uh, basically you divide it by a thousand and you get your amp rating so on a 1000 milliamp battery 15 C is going to be 15 amps um, so basically you don't want to put a motor on there that is pulling 20 amps or you don't even want to put one on there that's pulling 15 amps because it'll be just stressing the uh, battery to the max and you could end up puffing one of the cells and I've actually heard somebody call these uh, rechargeable C4 so um, but now, this one right here is a 15 amp pack. Okay, let's go to this one. This one's a 1000 milliamp, same milliamp as this one, but this one's a 20C pack and it's a 3S. It has three cells in it. Now each cell on a battery, on a LiPo, most of the time, is 3.7 volts. So if this is a three cell, then that's 3.7 times three, which comes out to 11.1. .1. If you do a six cell battery, that'll be 22.2 uh, volts in the whole entire pack, but it's still only uh, 3.7 volts per cell. Now you got 1,000 milliamp, but now you've got 20 C. So you do a thousand times 20, and that'll come out to 20,000. Which, and then you divide that by 1,000, and you come back down to 20, uh, 20 amps. So don't run this on something that's over. I would say about 15 amps. Same thing here, 1,800. Uh, by 20C. Now this one right here, I know you guys are saying down here, well, why can't I can just use the C rating. This one's 20 amps, this one's 15 amps. Okay. We have an 1800 milliamp pack here. So you'll do 1800, multiply that by 20, which is your C rating, and you come up with 36,000. Now you will divide that number, the uh, 36,000, by 1000, and you come up with 36. This one will handle 36 amps. So now we're down to my biggest battery. This is a 2200 milliamp. I only fly 450s. I don't fly anything bigger. This is a 2200 milliamp uh, 3S battery, but it's only a 15C discharge rate. So what you'll do here is you do 15 times 2200. That equals 33,000. Divide that by 1,000, and it comes out to 33 amps. This one was 36 amps. This one's 33 the C rating is smaller on this battery even though the milliamps is bigger this battery will handle a bigger motor than this one will 
but this one's going to give a longer run time. All right, a lot of people were wondering about the uh, the charge rates. Uh, you hear all over the forums, charge at a 1C rate. Do not go over a 1C rate. Well, what in the world does a 1C rate mean? 1C, it, what you'll do is you'll take this number here, which is your milliamp per hour, and you will take 2200, divide that by 1000. That will give you uh, a number of 2.2, which is the amperage that you need to charge at. This one is going to be 1.8 amps. This one and this one are both going to be 1 amp on your charge rate. Now, whenever you go uh, to get a charger, you don't really want to skimp on, on the charger. However, there are other options as far as not breaking the bank. Now, this right here is what I use. I use a uh, Sky Charger B6AC. It actually does have an AC port here on the side. And then it's also got your temperature probe and just, I mean, this right here is for uh, DC to hook it up to a car battery. And then over here, you've got your plugs that you put your charger in. And then this is the balance ports that are uh, actually on the battery. It's these uh, little small plugs right there. Um, this one right here, when I bought it, was actually one of the cheapest at the time. But now, that uh, I believe it's uh, the AC6 on hobbyparts.com. Uh, it's actually a little bit cheaper than this one now and they both the actual program that is inside it is exactly the same uh, I bought a Venom Pro charger which is a hundred and twenty dollar charger and I used it decided that I, I don't think flying is good for me so I went ahead and sold it on eBay now about a month and a half later I decided you know what I do want to fly and I got back into it and I bought this charger here this charger, I think, was about 40 bucks when I bought it. It's a little bit more now, uh, but not a lot more. It's the exact same program as the charger that was twice as much, and I have had zero problems. None of this up here is getting hot. My batteries don't get hot. Everything works perfect. So get you a good charger. Don't charge with one of those little bitty trickle chargers that you only plug this one little plug into. Be sure to get a charger that is like this. Basically, it's going to come with a wire that looks something like this right here. And it's just going to plug in to the side. I'm going to scoop that over here so you guys can see it. The balance port, which this is a 3S battery, so it's got four wires on it. The balance port is going to plug into the side. That's going to balance your cells. This is going to make sure that all three of these cells are going to stay at the exact same voltage while it's charging. And then you take this, and this is where your main power comes in, and you plug it in. Now, and always charge in a, in a LiPo safe bag. Uh, I don't have mine here right now with me, but always charge in that bag. These things, if there's some sort of damage, which actually on this battery there is. I had a really bad wreck, uh, or a crash in the F-117. And it kind of buggered up the nose of it over here. And then you can see a big black streak right there where it actually hit the fuselage. And this battery, in fact, you can see it real bad right there. It, uh, it's almost what you call a taco. It's almost folding this battery in half. But this thing still balances out. It still holds its charge, and it still works just like it did when it was new. But guys, I hope that answers a little bit on uh, a few of your questions on some of, your, some of the batteries. I know a lot of people are getting confused with this and it's actually not that hard once you figure out how to do the rating so guys uh, I'm gonna try to put in the description uh, exactly what you know kind of a little reminder so you don't have to watch the entire video but I hope this helps somebody out and if you guys have any questions just please rate and comment this video uh, subscribe to me and we'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching